Hello, my name is Uri. I am going to present today the following presentation Measuring, Tracking, Classifying and Visualizing Information with Applications in Healthcare and Beyond. It's going to be a, a Pekka Kucha style, meaning 20 slides, 20 seconds each. The agenda includes uh, four systems. One of them is based on RFID tracking, second one is a unique time series classification and a couple of search engines that I created. Then a situation comp comparison system taking into account thousands of sensors and a type 2 diabetics risk analyzer tool. So the RF RFID system was uh, uh, installed at the Washington Hospital Center. It's comprised of uh, uh, multiple receivers and sensors, active tags uh, mounted on top of stretchers, beds, and people and allows the uh, tracking in real time of the entities. You can see here a, a virtual reality model based on a Google SketchUp Pro and uh, uh, detailed entities that were created using a 3D Studio Max. So the system allows uh, viewing and tracking in real time humans, beds, stretchers and to identify the uh, locations in uh, in 3D what you see here is the uh, structure top view of the emergency department at Washington Hospital Center here is uh, an old friend uh, Kelly we also um, uh, created a, a human robot following a tracking system based on RFID tags the human wears a tag and uh, the robot has also a tag and uh, it allows a robot to follow a human. I found um, a significant evidence for using RFID uh, based technology in variety of uh, applications including parking, recycling and uh, baggage management so there is a good future for uh, this technology. Um, I'm also uh, going to introduce to you a very unique time series classification method that I developed that includes two machine learning methods that I came up with myself. It allows a user to specify the name of one time series and receive a list of similarly behaving other time series. Here is an example for one search engine that I created based on this technology. The user can specify the name of a one financial instrument and receive a list of similarly behaving other financial instruments and uh, the benefits of each result in comparison with what the user specified. Another search engine is a medical one, allows a user to specify a diagnosis code which is called the ICD-9 code and immediately receive a list of similarly behaving other ICD-9 codes and the system here is based on some 65k visits per year. Um, another concept which in this case is just uh, an idea we see in the context of a city allows the user to specify the name uh, of a street or a city and receive a list of similarly behaving other streets based on certain criteria uh, uh, and identify beha behavioral patterns over time. So the, the machine learning methods are based on uh, splitting the time horizon into small slices and for each slice implement uh, a self-labeling procedure that allows uh, implementing supervised learning algorithms on top of unsupervised learning then the composition of uh, decision trees. I also uh, dealt a bit with uh, uh, identifying the relationship between the body mass index and the subjective pain score people report and, and see that the more normal you are in terms of BMI the less likely you are to report on significant levels of pain then I thought maybe it would be a good idea to come up with a system that is able to identify situations that are, are uh, uh, about to predict they are going to experiment with a wave of pain. So why not take uh, an Advil or Neurofen or uh, other painkiller before you have a headache and not during. So I, I developed a system and, and instead of simulating, instead of using real biomedical signals I used a collection of 8,000 time series of stocks and ETFs that are coming from the American three major stock exchanges and I created uh, the system to identify significant uh, events. 
And um, in, in the, within the context of a city, imagine that I, I would use this system to, to uh, get the information for, from a variety of uh, sensors, from many kinds, or from many types, and try to, to predict the likelihood of uh, futuristic uh, uh, disasters, like epidemic, tornadoes, earthquakes, and so on. I also developed a very unique uh, type 2 diabetics risk analyzer that allows a user to specify uh, certain lab observations and receive in, li in real time uh, his or her likelihood to be a, a diabetic. I used some 45,000 patients um, and, and you can see a, a Bayesian network that uh, is sitting underneath the the observations that are in purple were found as the most significant predictors for type 2 diabetics. Um, okay. And within the context of a city, I was able also to identify that uh, the combination of city-state is, a, is a, an influential predictor for uh, the red uh, distribution widths, which was also found as a, a predictor for a uh, diabetics and for uh, mortality and I was able to identify cities that are more involved in in the uh, RDW. Uh, thank you very much for uh, listening and uh, if you have any questions feel free to uh, shoot me an email. Thank you very much.